All right, in this video, I'm going to do a quick money robot tutorial. I'm going to show you the exact way I set up campaigns that get YouTube videos ranked. So if you've been using money robot and you're not sure how to set things up, you're not sure about certain settings, then this is definitely going to be something you want to check out. In money robot, um, I'm actually using a VPN, which I'm a Mac user, so I kind of have to to use Money Robot. Either way, it's good to use one. I'll I'll link in the description to an article where I talk about all the options that I use as far as VPN and proxies and everything like that. So first, let's get into the settings. Uh, these I just they leave them how they are. If you want to take a quick look, you can pause the video and take a look how I have everything set up. Captcha services I use to capture. $10. I spend like $10 like once or twice a month. It's very reasonable. seems to work pretty well. Proxies. I'm going to be honest. I've always just used their system. I use proxies, my own proxies, for just about anything else. But uh, the Money Robot proxy system has always seemed to work well enough for me to where I haven't tried to move on and, um, you know, use my own proxies. Maybe I'll try that sometime and let you know how that goes. Uh, if you do use your own proxies and it seems to work much better, I'd love to hear about it in the comments. All right, we're going to start a new campaign. Money site URLs. All right, normally for the URLs, I do the YouTube video I'm uh, doing the SEO for. I do the YouTube channel, and then I do the playlist that it's on. I always try to put everything on a playlist. Now, this one is about the McDonald's milkshake machine. This is always broken. This is on my food channel. It's called Food Supremacy. If you want to go check it out, maybe I'll throw up a link to that video right here. But, um, so keywords to rank for. This isn't something I'm really worried about. McDonald's milkshake machine, obviously, would be one. So if this is something that, you know, when you're doing your video, obviously the keywords are going to be important. Uh, get at least five of them. The more the merrier. Then for article title, usually you're going to want to write your own article. But if, if you're too lazy to do that, then I snagged one from Business Insider, I believe. Throw it in here. And then I generally at least write the a spinnable title. All right. And then for this article here at the bottom, you can do spin article and it'll spin it for you. So even if you don't have an original article, you can just put one in. You get from anywhere, really. Business Insider, eZine articles, etc. Also, now this is very important. You're going to want to get the embed code from your video. Uh, you get the embed code walk you through it by hitting share, embed, boom, right there. Copy and paste or just copy, bring it back. You can put it at the beginning because when you're doing SEO for videos, for YouTube videos specifically, embeds are so important. Now you're going to be able to get, I don't know, 50 or so, depending on which kind of campaign you're on, but you're going to get probably at least 50 embeds of your YouTube video out of this, which is very valuable. All right, so let's go. I'm going to uncheck the Run Now box. This is my own uh, diagram I built. Uh, if you want to pause the video, get a screenshot of it, you can replicate it. Uh, you can make your own with the Diagram Editor, Diagram Editor, and Money Robot. Uh, this one seems to work really well for me. Uh, they come with a lot of others, these Video High, Video Ranking Medium. Those are both really good too, but it's going to take your Money Robot days to finish one of those. Uh, the Website tier one works really well, so we're just going to go with that. Uh, if you, for instance, if you do the website tier one, which is the one I made, if you replicate mine, it doesn't work that well for you. Then you know, then you can go back and give it another go with the medium or high, creating hundreds of video embeds when you use one of those campaigns. So, like I said, I run check, uncheck the run now box. I have my URLs, I have my keywords, I have my spun article, spun title, and as I said once, I'll say it again. Make sure the video embed is a part of the article body. So then you go to create campaign, something I always do. Go to the profiles tab, highlight profile one, edit, username. I always make the username something related to the niche. And it's in spinnable. Add some numbers in just to all 
just to add a little extra to the usernames. All right, I'm going to rename this. Donald's Milkshake. Put on the first one, start task. Now you can, down here you can see, you can do auto, or that just runs as many tasks as your computer is currently up to the task for. Uh, if you get a powerful VPN, then, you know, it'll do 30 or maybe even 40. Either way, you'll probably get at least 20 going. I'm not sure exactly how long this whole campaign will take. Probably, I would guess, anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. Once you're once you're done, you'll just look at your URLs. This is where all your successful links will be. And you're going to take those and power them up with Scrapebox or GSA. First, we've created these embeds with Money Robot. Then we'll take them to GSA and Scrapebox, and I'll show you how to power them up. But before we can do that, this campaign has to run. Like I said, 12 to 24 hours, that's a guess. So whenever this is completed, I'll be right back to show you how to power these links up with GSA and Scrapebox, which is very important for the SEO of a YouTube video. All right, I'm Sean with SEO Sourcer. Thanks for checking out my tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. And now you have no excuses. Get to work. Get that money robot submitter working for you.